Icelanders are voting in a referendum on whether or not to pay back British and Dutch investors who lost billions of euros in the Icelandic banking collapse. The Prime Minister urged voters to approve the repayments, but surveys showed that was not a foregone conclusion. I believe it's important the answer is a clear yes, but it's difficult with issues like this if the result is close, she said. So I'm hoping for a resounding yes, but we'll face whatever comes. A yes vote could have a devastating impact on a small country like Iceland, but would please the financial markets. A no vote could ostracise the island. Yeah, I think there are a lot of people, uh, well, a lot of people are undetermined. When they went uh, to the polling stations, probably a lot of people stood for a long time holding the, the, the ballot slip. It doesn't matter if it goes yes or no, you know. It's going gonna, it's gonna to change everything. We, just, we don't know what, what, what's going to happen if we say no, but we know, you know, in a way, what's going to happen if we say yes. So I say yes. There's still anger among many Icelanders that they are being asked to pick up the tab for the excesses of those who drove the banking system into the ground. A yes vote would mean the population paying for the next 35 years to clear off the debt.